Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 5 of this RMS Arundel Castle tutorial. Uh, today's focus is the ship's forecastle deck and the details on the uh, subsequent deck next to it, or behind it. Uh, masts, cranes, anchor chains, all those sorts of details, and then after that, if I've got time, we can do something else, so we'll see. Uh, so what we're going to do is go to the front of the ship's superstructure first, so it's going to be... Here's the forecastle deck, but we're going to focus on this deck down here first, in front of the... Uh, main superstructure, so what we're going to go, go, and go and do is go down to the front wall down here and go to the centre block and what we're going to do is go to the third block forward, so here's the centre, go three blocks forward on the wood one, two, three, and we're going to build a hatch, so this hatch is eleven wide, so that is one in the middle and then five either side, so one, two, three, four, five that way one, two, three, four, four, five that way, I think that's eleven and I'll just double check that because I screwed it up so that's 11, that's fine. And then the sides are 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then join them together across the front like so. And then increase them in height to 2 blocks high. Like so. And then for the cargo hatch cover, you can either uh, fill it all in with blocks or do what I've done on the prototype, wherever that is over there and just put a cargo uh, a hatch cover of slabs on the top. It's up to you if you want to do this or just use blocks. It's entirely up to you, but I use slabs because that's what I'd done originally, so I shall do that. So it's basically the cargo hatch is two and a half blocks high. And that's my stomach ground. <laughs> Alright, there we go. There's the uh, hatch there. So that's that one done. And then for hatch number two... We're going to go to the fourth block forward. Now this this next hatch is going to be on the next lip up on the uh, deck. As you can see, the deck is one uh, half a half a block high, higher. So uh, we're going to have to cut the the, uh, the hatch into the deck. So we're going to go to the fourth fifth block forward of this first deck of this first hatch. So one, two, three, four, five forward, and then we're going to cut a hole for the heart for the hatch itself. So that's one in the centre. And it's 11 wide again, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that way. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that way. And this thing is really stuttering. I don't know why the frame rate just suddenly dropped. Oh well. So it's 5 wide, and the sides are 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then replace with blocks like that. And I might as well make it 2 blocks high while we're here. And then across the front as well. I do the other side as well, so it's 10 that side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then join them across like so. And then across the front, do the same. And the frame rate is ridiculous at the moment. I don't know what's going on. Alright, bear with me a second while I try and fix this. Don't know if I fixed it or not, but uh, we shall see. Anyway, we'll do the uh, cargo hatch cover as well, which is all slabs, and uh, I'll try and do it as quick as I can. So hopefully, the frame rate will stay level. I don't know if it's the amount of ships in the area, but it was, it was fine the other day. So uh, I don't know. We'll just get this cargo hatch covered up. I keep doubling up the slabs, which is really annoying. And I've done it again and again. So, I mean, the, the, the amount of ships is the same. I've only got one extra ship, and that's over there, and that's not even finished yet. So it can't be that causing the uh, the lag. It's probably something on the pewter doing something. It's not steam. That's not running. So I don't know what it is. Anyway, that's the second hatch done, and it isn't a large one. Um, I'm just trying to work out what to do now. Um, if we go to the you know, go to the front. Hang on, I'm just trying to work out now. Uh, yeah, go back to the stairs. So we've got the stairs here on the uh, on the lower deck. Go back to those, and on the inside row of stairs, so basically the stairs closest to the centre. So you got well, you got two rows of stairs, which is too wide. Basically, the row which is closest to the centre, which is this one here. We're going to go to the second, third block forward of that. So one, two, three, and then we're going to pardon me, build our crane, which is uh, 16 high, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then put one behind it like that. Fall all the way back down to the bottom and add a base around the bottom, like so. And then for the crane arm, uh, 
is the sixth block up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And using slabs, we're going to build uh, eight forwards on the. So go on the side. We we'll add eight forwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then in the centre, add eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like so. So there's our first crane like that. And it, it could should uh, should be something like that. And if you want to add the the arm a bit lower, you can. I just put it that high there just for bit of ground clearance but uh, if you want if you want to make it lower then by all means right so I do the same the other side so it's the same design again uh, what was it third block forward of the stairs so one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and one back in the base around like so and then the sixth block up two three four five six Add the arm, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there we go. Two cranes done like that. All right. So what we're going to do now is go to the f uh, the front wall of this deck. So basically the back wall of the uh, ship's forecastle. And what we're going to do is go to the center. And we're going to go to the sixth block out of the center. I'm going to add stairs. So we're going to need oak stairs first. So there. And we're going to to the sixth block out so one two three four five six and remove the top blocks and then we'll add stairs going down to the deck below so you can add blocks underneath and stairs and then blocks underneath and stairs and then uh gonna add gonna need to add some slabs underneath the stairs because of the uh run an awkward part so we're gonna need oakwood stairs wherever the hell they are uh let's use red for a minute, replace that and put oak stairs underneath, there we go <laughs> so there's the stairs with an extra slab underneath and then we're going to need our banisters which are two up two up, two up, two up there, same the other side two up, two up two up and you're going to need to put bloody slabs underneath them as well like so, and there we go, there's our slabs, stairs and slabs done and it should look something like that. So do the, do the same on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Do the same, and everything should be all fine and wonderful. That's the theory, at least. Slabs underneath the stairs, and the banisters as well. So the banisters, two up, two up, two up, and two up, two up, two up. And there we go. There's the stairs there, like that. All nice and neat. Now, if we go back between the two cargo hatches again, we're going to add the mech, which is a black device, which is basically holds the rigging together. So we go between the two cargo hatches and just basically cut, uh, build one, two, three like that. So three blocks like that, and the same the other side of the centre block. Go one, two, three. I don't know why I did that because I didn't need to cut the first one. <sighs> right, let me do this. So we have one, two. Three like three like that, and then one, one, two, three, four, five across like that. So join them together. So it's basically this is just a pulley for the rigging, really. So you have rigging going up to the masts and things, and that's what it attached to. So then we go to the front of the forward cargo hatch to do the same, but a slightly smaller one. So we make this one uh, three wide. So centre block. I just cut a hole again. So one, two, three. And one, two, three, and then join them together across the top like so. And the frame rate is stuttering again. I don't know what's going on. And that's the folks all almost done. I'm just trying to work out. Is there anything more to add? Uh, I need a couple of bollards, so I'll get our bollards, which are anvils. And we're going to put these next to the cranes down here. So I'll put a couple of bollards there like that. And we'll do the same on the other side. So a couple of bollards there like that. So the anvils designed to be bollards. And I think that's it. I think there are a couple of vents, but I can't remember where they go. Oh, they, they go just next to the stairs, actually. So if we go back to the stairs and go sort of diagonally... So yeah, we're on the outside, outside of the stairs. Go diagonally out two blocks and then build the vent uh, five high. So cut a hole and go one, two, three, four, five, and one back. Like so. So do the same on the other side. Go diagonally two out. One, two. Cut a hole. 
and go one, two, three, four, five, plus one. Like so, and there's our two vents there like that. So that is pretty much all the detail needed on this part of the deck here. And then what we're going to do is move up to the next one. But before before I do that, I'm going to restart the game because the lag is just ridiculous. So back in a moment. Okay, back again. Let's see if the frame rate lasts this time. All right, so what we're going to do now is work on the masts. And this is going to be on the forecastle itself. I'm going to go to the, well, the first block center of the back of the forecastle. And on the wood, we're going to count to the seventh block forward. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I built this on the prototype in brown concrete. So, we're going to need that wherever brown concrete is. Is that it? Yep, that's the one. So, in brown concrete, we build the mast up in four rows of 15. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's four rows of 15 like that. And then roughly six down from the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Build out three. 1, 2, 3, and one two three and then five down from there one two three four five build out six one two three four five six and one two three four five six now it probably didn't what didn't have these bits on the original ship but these are just things i had normally so that's uh, those little things there now down to the uh, second row of 15 up so bottom row here second row here and we're going to add the crow's nest and the crow's nest is uh, five wide. I'm just going to work out how I do this. We go onto the side, we go one, two, and then on the other side, one, two, like that, and then one, like that. And then we're going to get our stairs, our quartz stairs, and we'll add stairs upside down around the sides, so around the sides, across the front, like so. So it's designed like that. And then along the top, we just add blocks again, just add a wall around. Like so. so there's our crow's nest like that. It looks like a bathtub. And then we're going to need a roof, which is quartz slabs. So just add a roof basically like that. Nothing really special. And I think really I need to make it a bit higher, but no big deal. And then for the supports of that, we get our end rods, which are there. And in each corner, just add a rod like that and there we go there's our crow's nest <laughs> it's a bathtub with a roof and uh, that's that so that's the uh, crow's nest sort of done so it's on the uh, it's on the second row of 15 up but it doesn't matter where roughly roughly about halfway up it doesn't look too bad I forgot to mention that so it's on the like, it's on the second row of 15 up roughly halfway up the, that row but uh, there we go all right now we're gonna go back down to the bottom of the mast and add the uh, the crane parts of it. So we're going to go to the uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Third block up. So we go one, two, three, and on the third block up, we build a block out there and a block out there on the sides like that. And then on the back, we're going to add uh, six rows of six diagonally outwards. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that's 6 rows of 6, diagonally outwards like that, so we do the same on the other side, basically going back towards the hull, or towards the superstructure, so we do the same on the other side, and try and do it properly without screwing it up. There we go, there's our two rows of six rows of six like so just diagonally outwards sort of like pincers really or the arse end of an earwig going outwards like that right now for the front parts what we're going to do is build four rows of six and these will be slightly curvy upwards so we go on the front here we go six forward one two three four five six and these are going to curve upwards instead so one two three four five six one two three four five six one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's four rows of six. Curving upwards like that. So we do the same on the other side. So 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 and there we go. Both sides done like that. Marvellous. Right, so that's that little door jobby done there. And just trying to work out what to do, bear with me. Uh, what we're gonna do is go to go back to the mast and we're gonna go to the third block uh, three blocks out, so three blocks out to the side. So we go one, two, three, and we're going to add a skylight. And this is going to be uh, four long. So build it three wide a second. So build it three wide like that. And then the sides are one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. So yeah, so it's basically three wide and the sides are three as well. So it's shaped like that. And then with our court stairs again, wherever the hell they are. There. Oh, pissed down damage. So we got a quartz stairs and just add stairs around the around the edge like so. Like that. And then for the top, add the glass in there like that. So there we are, there's our skylight there. And we'll do the same the other side, same design, so it's one one, two, three, and then one, two, three, two, three, like that, and then stairs all the way around again. Slightly different to how I designed it on the prototype, but that's no big deal because this one looks better. And there we go, there's the glass there. So there we are, there's the two skylights there, either side of the mast. And then uh, we need another cargo hatch. Now I'm just trying to work out whether I need to add any mechs here. I think I do, but I'll add them later on. So first of all, we're going to go to the front of the mast. And we're going to go and count to the 12th block forward. Now this is going to be on the next ridge up, so it's going to be involved cutting. So we go 12 forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we build a hatch, which is nine wide. So we cut a hole and put our centre block in, and it's four either side. So one, two, three, four that way. And the lag is starting again. One, two, three, four that way. One, two, three, four. I believe it, the lag is caused by the slabs, which is weird. So uh, the less I have to do with them, the better. Anyway, nine wide like that, and then the sides are five. One, two, three, four, five. Like that, same the other side, one, two, three, four, five. And then across the front, like so. And then this hatch is two blocks high, so it's two blocks high. And if you want to add the cover, you can, or just fill it in with blocks, it's up to you. But I think I just fill it in with blocks to save a bit of time. So, just fill it in with blocks. I won't bother putting the hatch on, or the cover rather. Just saves a few seconds here and there. And there we go, there's our hatch underneath the crane parts like that. So bear with me now while I just read my notes and I can't remember what page I'm on. Da, 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 da. Ah, here we are. Right, so the next job is to add the crane, uh, not the cranes, the chains. Um, so what we're going to do now, go back to the centre of the cargo hatch, the front centre, which is there. And we're going to go to the third block forward, so one, two, three. And then one to the side, we add one, two, three out. Same the other side, one, two, three out. And then cut a hole and add the side. Actually, I didn't need to do that, did I? I just replace that slab a second. And what we do is add slabs underneath those six blocks we just added. I keep getting stuck here. Right, so add the slabs under there like that. And then at the ends, add one forward, one forward, one forward, one forward, like that. So you've got the, the uh, couple of C's basically. Like that couple of C's, and then the chains themselves are going to be 11 long. But before we do that, we've got to replace the sl replace the wood uh, with black blocks first. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and replace with blocks like so. Black blocks, and same the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and replace with blocks again like so and the lag is ridiculous so there we are, there's the two chain areas like that and just wait for the frame rate to increase, there we go and then for the chains themselves, I use slabs, not slabs, I used um, anvils on the prototype but what I use, I shall use uh, stairs, but I can't remember what stairs they are uh, we use stone brick stairs and what we'll do, we'll uh, do this design so I put stairs every second block like so change direction and put stairs the other direction like so so it sort of looks like chain links but 
on a, on a very vague base. So I do the same to the other side. Add the chains, uh, stairs, like so, and then the same in the other direction, like that. And there we go, there's the two vague chain links, like that. And then what we want to do then is go uh, one block forward of the uh, chains themselves. So basically, the center block between the two chains is there. And we're going to add the crane, which is seven blocks high. So it's a crane, seven blocks high in white, so that's one. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus one back, and then with quartz slabs again. I keep having to change materials because it's really annoying. So in the quartz slabs, one block down from the top, we build forward. Uh, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that, and then one back from the end. We add slabs diagonally down. To the bottom, like so, and there we are. There's the crane arm done like that. It yeah, don't look too bad. So that's that. And then underneath the crane itself, we're going to add a couple of uh, black skids, <laughs> skid marks. I don't know what they actually are, but they're two black stripes inside the hull, like so. So there's, two, there's four. There's four blocks there. And same the other side, just in front of the crane. One, two, three, four, like that. Don't need to add them, but they're on. They're on sort of the photographs and deck plan, so we just add those two under there, like that. And that's that little job done there. So I'm going to bear with me while I work out what to do. And there are vents that go on the ship now. So what we're going to do? We'll go back to the uh, back to the uh, back to the mast. And for the vents, we want three forward of the stairs. So we go back to the stairs actually and we go to the inside stair which is the one the row of stairs closest to the centre and we're going to go three blocks forward of that so one two three and build our first vent five high so one two three four five and back one like that and then at the sides go up two there on the back two up the side two up like that so there's the first vent like that do the same on the other side so uh, three forward, one, two, three, and five up, one, two, three, four, five, and back one, and then two ups around the base, like so. And that's those two vents there, like that. The next vents go uh, in front of the mast, and these are different style of vents. So they go in front of the mast and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight forward, and then. Um, do, 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 do. Five out to the side, so one, two, three, four, five. And we'll add a vent which is two blocks wide, and then three, four high. So it's so two, three, four, four high, and then two forward or one forward on the front like that. So it's two thickness like so. And it was five out, wasn't it? So one, two, three, four, five. But it two wide, four high, five high. Sorry. Yeah, that's four high, sorry, and then one forward like that. And that's those two vents there, and then the last two vents uh, are to the side of the chains. So go back to the chains, which are here, and these ones go uh, diagonally one block out. No, diagonally. Hang on. Go to the center of the chains, and then go. Yeah, back of the chains. Go center, and then go one, two, three out. And build the vent five high. So one, two, three, four, five, and one back. Make it four actually, because you got the crane arm there. So four high, one back, and then you're going to need to put a block underneath as well for support. And do the same the other side. So one, two, three, cut a hole. One, two, three, four, five, and one back like so. Sorry, this is all confusing, but it's confusing me as well. But that is pretty much the details done. The last job really is to add the bollards in the handrails. So we get our handrails which are iron bars. And we get our anvils which are anvils. And we're going to add anvils first and these are going to go in pairs. So we're going to put our first pair next to the chains and put a pair there like so. So put a pair there and the same on the other side. Now these are in, are in random places. I'm just putting them at random. So I put a pair either side of the chains and then go back to the same level as the skylights and put another pair there like so. Same the other side. And put another pair there. Like so. And I think that'll do. So there's two pairs on the forecastle and a pair 
uh, on the uh, well, oh, supposedly the well deck. I don't know what the deck is, but it's there anyway. And that is the um, uh, folks all deck done. Oh, apart from the mechs, I've got to add the mechs first. There's the two mechs that go either side of the uh, or, or front and back of the of the um, the. Uh, what's it called the bloody thing there? So center block behind the uh, mast. That's it. And go two blocks back, and then add one, two, three, like so. And then one block gap to the side. Add one, two, three. One block to the side. The other side. One, two, three. And then add one, two, three, four, five across the length, across the or across the side, or across the tops of the of the uh, black lines there. And then in front of the crane, in front of the mast. So we do the same again. Roughly about four blocks forward. Go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then across like so. And there we are. There's the mix added there. And now we can add the handrails. So we go back to the centre of the forecastle on the back, and just add the handrails all the way around the forecastle. And these handrails only go so far up to the tip of the bow. So I do across the back first, like so, and then up along the side, uh, like so. Now I'm gonna have to remove these vent these bloody things whatever these things are called I can't remember and replace the blocks here so move the bars back and then we add the handrails going up the side and replace with blocks here and there so what I'm doing I'm just replacing wood blocks with the uh, grey blocks because the handrails will not sit straight otherwise and do the same the next one up as well and then up onto the next level and put another block there and there as well and there and there so I'm just trying to do this as quick as I can without screwing it up and then lastly up to that point there and that's as far as you need to go just just in front of the crane really is where as far as you need to go with the, uh, the handrails so if you look just in front of the crane there, that's as far as you need to go with those, so I'll do the other side and I'll try and do this as quick as I can already losing the will to live uh, up to there and then out to the side and I'll remove that to hang, um, bollard back by one block and add our handrails in all the right places, so i just replace these blocks first And then add our handrails. And there we go. That's the folks all completely done. Well, oh, there is a bit more detail to go on later on. That would be portholes, but I'll worry about that later on. Don't give two shits about that right now. But that's the uh, folks all done. And it don't look too bad, in my opinion. It's. Uh, it's cluttered and detailed and doesn't look too bad so that is that job done there now I'm just going to think about what to do now because I've got a bit of time and I'm just going to think how do I spend that uh, actually I think we'll leave it, I think we'll call it a day now so this is part 5 done so I think in part 6 what we'll do, we'll come back and do the funnels, we'll do the funnels in part 6 and then the, the stern details as well which will be uh, the, the mast and all the details around there so uh, it won't be too bad. So that is all the folks all done. And like I say, part six will be the funnels in that. And uh, we'll leave it at that. So we'll call it a day there. So this is Rich signing off, logging off and disappearing. And I shall return in part six. So uh, yeah, bye for now.